I figured it out, guys. I found the trend that no one else is talking about. We're ahead of the trends, guys. I'm Nora, and this is also known as Nora News. Hi, I'm Nora, and welcome to my channel. This is also known as Nora Knits. And I have a brand new style of video to my channel here today. So this is going to be the first of hopefully many pattern roundups that I have to share with you. But there's something different about this and I wanted to just really deep dive into this one particular topic. So before I get into it, make sure that if you wanna stay up to date with everything that I've got going on, you can follow me over on Instagram at aka Nora Knits. And if you like the idea of anything that you see here today and it looks like something new that you might wanna try that maybe has spooked you a bit as we are in spooky season, you can join my October challenge, which is hashtag spooky stitches 2023, where I'm challenging you to try something that has spooked you a little bit in your making, your knitting, crocheting, sewing, whatever it is. And I'm just encouraging you to face those fears and maybe you'll find out that it wasn't so spooky after all. So if any of that sounds like something that you're into, definitely come join me over here at also known as Nora Knits. And without further ado, let's jump in. So this video today, I'm going to be talking about a fall trend that I haven't seen anyone mention yet. And I've seen people talk about stripes being a trend for this fall fall, but I think that this is a different type of striping that I haven't seen mentioned yet. I have, it's just been all over my feed and I'm personally actually knitting something in this trend as we speak. So what is it you ask? <laughs> the trend that I'm talking about today is chevron, zigzag, chevron stripes, zigzag stripes. I have been seeing this everywhere. And not just in knitting patterns and in the knitting world here, but also in mainstream. I'll see if I can post a few photos of places where I've seen this but I'm just seeing this chevron or zigzag pattern literally everywhere I look. So I thought that I would go ahead and help you guys get ahead of this trend by pulling some patterns that include this chevron detail. And I have a combination of some for you to put on your radar because they're not even out yet. And then I have some that are already available in both some garment knitting and more accessories so that you can work this trend into however you think it's going to best suit your style or don't do it at all. But if you want to try and incorporate this trend and get ahead of it with me this season, then I think I have a pattern in here for you to incorporate it in the way that works best for you. So let's get started. So I mentioned that I am already participating in knitting this trend and that is through the Leake Pullover by Sari Nordland, which is a top-down drop shoulder knit, and it features this beautiful stitch detail that is not stranded color work. It's actually just changing from a main color to a contrasting color in these zigzag or chevron stripes. And this is a pattern that is going to be out on October 19th. I'm loving it so far, and I think that if you feel like this suits your wardrobe, you would love it too. Everyone knows Sari Nordland is a reputable designer, so there's no fear going into it there. <laughs> there goes I'm seeing. I didn't block her off. <laughs> My OC. So I think that that's a great way to get ahead of the trend this season. I think that you can knit this sweater in so many different ways. Personally, I am choosing not to have a major contrast between my main color and my zigzag or chevron stripes. And instead I have a big texture difference. So I think that there's many different ways that you could do this. You could choose to just have an outline instead of a full zigzag stripe. It could just be the 
outline of a, of a contrasting color. You could knit this so that it's a little bit more snug, or you could choose to have way more positive ease like I'm choosing to do with my test knit. So this is coming out on October 19th, and I think that you should have this pattern on your radar as a really great staple classic, but incorporating a bit of the trend too. The next sweater that I want you to have on your radar is one that is really in the beginning stages of being born as a pattern, and it doesn't even have a name yet. We've just been seeing it be teased by Colibri by Johanna. I'm hoping that I'm saying that right. It's looking like a really interesting construction, and again, featuring that high contrast zigzag or chevron stripe. However, in this version of it, we're seeing those zigzags going vertically and it's actually being knit, it looks like, so that you'd knit it flat and then turn it up on its side. I think it's a really, really cool construction. It's looking like it's gonna have sort of like a bat wing sleeve to it. I'm really into it. I don't know what it's gonna turn into, but I definitely think that it's something to have on your radar and especially because it's only in its little infant stages of being designed. So I think that we should get on this right away and maybe we'll see some test knitting uh, applications coming out soon. So definitely, if you like the look of that, make sure that you're following Colibri by Johanna over on Instagram so that you could stay up to date with all of the info on that one. The next version of this chevron or a zigzag stripe pattern that I'm seeing, if you feel like those contrasting stripes or just stripes in general aren't really your thing, I think that this is going to be a great way to incorporate this trend in a really, really subtle and timeless way. So this is the tendril sweater by the Knit Pearl Girl. As of September 27th, she said that the test knit should be over in about a month's time. So I think any day now we could be seeing this pattern pop up. The really cool thing with this one is that you're not having these really bold or stark contrasting stripes, and instead we're seeing the feature of the zigzag on the shoulders. So it's more of a textural thing than it is a color thing, and I think that that's a really great way to apply this trend if you're someone who doesn't like so much bold or stark contrast. Um, I actually applied to test knit this one and wasn't accepted, which is totally okay, but it's definitely one that's been on my radar and I think was the start of me seeing this zigzag pattern pop up all over the place. I can't even believe, and as we move on to the patterns that are already available, there's so many that literally just came out this year, so it's kind of crazy. This is a huge trend and I can't believe no one's talking about it. But part of my favorite thing about this tendril sweater is the split hem, the drop shoulder. I would personally knit this way oversized and just have this as my go to cozy sweater. Picture this with leggings, yoga pants, Uggs, cozy wool. I'm feeling it. I want it. I think it would be really fun to play with color on this one too. I don't know. I'm just really into this sweater. Maybe because the sample, she has some like tweedy or flex. I don't know. I don't know. The tendril sweater. I'm into it. Hopefully we'll see it before the end of October. So keep a lookout at the Knit Pearl Girl on Instagram for that information. Okay, now we can move into some brand new pattern releases that at the time of me filming this aren't even out yet, but they are coming out by the time I'm posting this video. So I'm not gonna have so much information in this video to tell you. However, these patterns should be available right now for you to go take a peek at and they should be brand new. And I feel like a lot of times designers include like a brand new, you know, pattern sale. So take advantage of that if you wanna get in on these. So in the realm of brand, new patterns featuring this really hot fall trend. Uh, I have seen from Anne Vensel. She has her Celine sweater and her Super Celine sweater. The Super Celine is the one that is going to be releasing in just a couple of days now, uh, but should be out by the time you're watching this. And the Celine sweater was released in October of 2023, according to Ravelry. Both of these sweaters feature a circular yoke with this zigzag going across, and it also has some really geometric triangles and stuff. I love Ann Vensel's designs. She has a lot of really intriguing looks to me. I haven't knit one of her patterns yet, 
but I'm always really interested in what she's knitting and it's always being saved and liked by me on Instagram. So let's start with the Celine sweater because that has been out a little bit longer and that's one in the sample. She has this really beautiful like baby blue color and the white pops. Um, and this one has a, a lower neckline. This sweater is available in seven sizes. The finished bust circumference for this sweater is going to range from 37 to 53 inches, which is about 94 to 134 centimeters. The pattern is available on Ravelry for about $8.86. Any prices I talk about today will be in US dollars. It does say on Ravelry that this is a stranded colorwork sweater. And I think that the Super Celine sweater is just kind of the sister to the Celine sweater. However, the differences being that it features this really cozy neckline. Uh, this one looks like more of your chunky oversize. Again, I'm picturing this with just anything from your jeans and trousers in the winter to throwing it on with just some leggings and Uggs and run into the grocery store. Uh, this one also appears to have that circular yoke and the release date for this one is looking like October 11th. So like I said, it should be available now. Um, I haven't seen too, too many photos, but I think that these two are a really great option if you prefer a circular yoke fit. But also if you like the more just geometric look versus the stripes, I think that this one has a lot of fun geometric uh, stuff going on in the yoke. And then you've got simple sock, simple, simple stockinette. <laughs> you've got simple stockinette the rest of the way. So it seems like a lot of fun in that respect so that you've got that flavor and a lot of stuff going on in the yoke, but then you can chill out and enjoy your plain stocking it in the round for the rest of the sweater. So definitely loving the look of these Celine family sweaters by Anne Vensel. Next up in the category of brand new, there's actually two very similar style accessories. So these are two different sort of wrap shawl patterns. The first one that I want to talk about is the Foxy Sweater Scarf by Olga Putano Designs. This looks like one of those really fun wrap thingies where you have like the sleeves that your arms go in and then you gotta wrap it around yourself a few times, which seems really practical if you're a teacher or if you work at a desk a lot and something that you could keep at your, at your desk, in your drawer, on the back of your chair and just throw that on when you're getting chilly. But then also if you're someone who likes a shawl but hates it falling off of you, you can knit one of these in a little bit less ease so that it stays around you and you could still function throughout the day but stay really cozy and warm without needing a full sweater and without having to worry about a wrap or a shawl falling off of your shoulders. I think if I were to do a wrap or a shawl, which I haven't yet, it would be something in this vein because I cannot say I'm with something is slipping off of my shoulders constantly drives me crazy. <laughs> it looks like this pattern is set to release October 10th, which I think is today, <laughs> the day that I'm filming this, so it should be available all ready. This version looks like a lot of fun, knit out of a lighter weight. Um, I see some, not lace, but the way that the stitch is, there's some sort of like eyelet looking details to it. So it seems like a really nice light layer to throw on any time of year, but definitely in these transitional seasons, I think it's a great option. It says that this pattern comes in four different sizes, which I was surprised to see for a wrap sweater like this, that it would come in so many sizes. I think a lot of times people would just say good enough, one and done, but it's really nice that there's options for different bus circumferences. And she advises you in the Ravelry page on how to kind of pick the size that's gonna suit you best. Like I was talking about with some negative ease so it stays up around your shoulders. You can utilize the Ravelry page to find out a little bit more info about what fits gonna work best for you. For the finished bus circumference on this one, you're looking at about 32 to 60 inches. And that's equivalent to about 81 to 152 centimeters. It says on Ravelry that the body of this is worked flat and then the little sleeve cuffs are worked in the round. Um, I just like the the interesting colors and, and things on this one. I don't know, this seems like something if you wanted to knit this in neutrals, 
you could have really low contrast and just have some visual interest to a wrap like this. Or if you just want to have something that you could throw on and it's kind of fun and you don't want it to match all the time, it's it's you're really viewing it as an accessory. I think you could have fun with scrap busting and or stash busting, scrap busting. I don't know what the phrase is there, but yeah, getting rid of some some scraps and have fun with this one. It just looks like a, a lot of really interesting texture could be you could get a lot of interesting texture and the, the options are really endless for all of these patterns because your your garment or your, your finished object is going to look so different depending on what colors you're pairing together and the amount of contrast that you're getting. So that's kind of why I think that this is such a fun trend because you can make it your own in so many different ways. So that is the Foxy Sweater Scarf by Olga Putano designs and you can purchase that on Ravelry right now for $8.50. So like I said, sort of in the same vein of these wrapping, sweatery, scarfy, wrappy, shawl things with sleeves. <laughs> I don't think that there's a good name for them, but there's this really fun one that I have been seeing posted by Knit Collage. It looks like this is part of a greater make along. I struggled a little bit to find so much more information. It looks like this is all going to be coming to a head tomorrow as of when I'm filming this. So by the time you're watching this, all of the information should be available. And I'm sure that if you go check out Nick, Nick, Oh my gosh, I'm struggling today. <laughs> if you go check out Knit Collage on Instagram, they should have all the details for you. But there's a lot of really interesting things involved with this make along that I've been seeing. And it looks like this is something that's gonna be geared towards beginners, but that doesn't mean that everyone can't get involved. And all I was able to tell was that there's some sort of kit available. So I'm not sure just yet if this pattern is gonna be available as a standalone or if you have to purchase the kit. But I think it's something really fun to have on your radar for this season if you like the style of garment or accessory. So this is called the Willow Wrap by Vitz Knits. And since this hasn't started yet, I don't know too much information about the sizing and all of that, but it seems like that's gonna be out by the time this is posted. This just looks like another one of those really cozy wrap scarves. What I like about this one is that it looks a little chunkier. So if you feel like you like the idea of these wrappy things, <laughs> but you wanna wrap yourself up in something a little bit squishier than the one designed by Olga Putano, then I think that this is a great option for you. However, I also think that if you're a beginner and you want that one and done sort of scenario where you can go find a kit, it looks like these kits are gonna include the yarn and everything. And I think that this would be a great option for you. I have to mention right now too, this knit collage make along thing includes something called the Rhinebeck cardigan or Rhinebeck Cardi, and I'm obsessed with it. I need it in my life, but I hate knitting with yarn that chunky. So I'm gonna have to move past that to make this ridiculous cardigan. Like you don't understand how badly I need it in my life, but it's not Chevron. We're talking about Chevron today. So this willow wrap features the, the zigzag chevron stripes and they're a little bit more of a wave. So they're not quite as geometric. So that might be more your thing. I just thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, and that's the willow wrap. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, we'll have some more information. And I'm gonna do my best to link all of this information down below for you to make it really easy for you to find these things. Now, since we're already in the world of accessories, I think it's a good time to mention a few that are already out there for you to purchase. And I think especially if you really like the idea of this trend, but you're not so sure how you can integrate it into your wardrobe and a full garment, or if you just feel like this is really a trend and it's just a passing thing and it's not going to work for you in the long run, but you still wanna have some fun with it anyway, uh, an accessory is a really great way to try it out. And it's a little bit more low commitment. So I think that these accessories would be a great option for you if that sounds about right. The first accessory that I wanna talk about is a pair of socks. These are called the Contrast Blast Socks by none other than Mr. Stephen West himself. 
Um, I have yet to knit anything by Stephen West, but my goodness, uh, if we're talking spooky stitches 2023, this is on my list. <laughs> Stephen West's patterns really intimidate me. They're just very busy, but I know that so many people love them and everyone raves about just the way that he can put together a pattern. So when I saw these, I thought that they would be a perfect addition to this chevron stripey trend. So this is perfect, like I said, if you're someone who doesn't feel like this trend really works for your wardrobe, but you wanna give it a shot anyway, why not try it in something that you're gonna shove into your boots all winter? <laughs> these socks are apparently part of, or they were the, the first of, the West Knit Surprise Sock Along 2023. That happened back in June of this year, 2023. So still a pretty new pattern. Like I said, I think it's really interesting that all these patterns have been coming up in just the past few months and some are still coming out. I think we're ahead of the trends, guys. These socks are knit top down. They appear to come in five different sizes. So that's really cool. And these socks, the pattern is going to run you about $7.42. What I like about these in particular is that there's all sorts of different textures and patterns and stuff and that chevron is in there, but it's not the star of the show. So if you're just someone who's never knit with two different colors before or um, hasn't done texture or anything like that, I just think that this would be a sort of all-encompassing project to get all of those spooky stitches out of your hands and into a pair of socks. And if they come out really bad, they're just going to be inside your shoes. So it's okay. <laughs> so those are the Contrast Blast Socks by Stephen West. Next up in our accessories category, we have some hats. A hat, some hats, all part of the same pattern. This is called the Glasswork Hat by Mitsiko. That's my best guess on how to pronounce that one. This pattern was released in September of 2023. Again, pretty new pattern. It looks like this pattern has two different sizes and it looks like they're also showing you a couple of different ways if you want the pom-pom or if pom-pom isn't your thing, which like how boring is that? Pom-pom's always my thing. Um, and it says something about there being an I-cord detail uh, right before the ribbing at the bottom. So looks like there might be some new techniques that you could learn if you've never done that before. I like that the chevron or the zigzag pattern is really isolated in just one part of the hat, so it doesn't look like you'd have to deal with that when you're doing any decreasing or increasing, depending on which way this hat is knit. So it seems like it would be something a little bit more beginner friendly if you've never knit a stitch pattern like this before. And this pattern is gonna run you about $7. Again, I think that this would be really fun to just play around with textures and colors, have the chevron be in different textures with a mohair or a boucle with the rest of the hat in a really clean and non-fuzzy or hairy yarn. I think that the options are so endless here. And if you just wanna get in on the trend, but don't feel like it's worth it to knit a whole sweater, then I think that a hat could be a really fun option to show off that you're really cool and trendy, <laughs> but not have to commit to the full garment. So once again, that is the Glasswork Hat by Mitzi, Mitsiko, Mitsiko. Next, we can jump back to some socks and to another familiar designer. We're gonna bring back Miss Sari Nordland. She has the scrapbook socks that came out in September of this year, 2023. It looks like these might've been the jumping off point for her Lique sweater as they appear to feature that chevron detail. What I like here again is that it looks like the chevron spots are isolated to the body of the foot and the ankle, but you wouldn't be dealing with it in the toe or the heel. So I think when it comes to increasing and decreasing, you wouldn't run into issues or anything tricky there because of the way that the pattern was written so smartly. And I think that these would be so cute to pair with 
some, I don't know, like little low rise booties, or even if you're into wearing socks with your sandals, I think that it could be kind of fun to have that. I also think just the nature of this chevron stitch, it has that openness to it, that sort of lace look to it. So they'd be pretty breathable if you're someone who doesn't really like a super thick sock. Um, but I think that these would be really beautiful to knit in even just a plain cream or gray or something like that and have just that little bit poking out of the top of your boots. Or if you want to have some fun with color because they're going in your shoes anyway, why not bust some stash with these socks? Ravelry says that these socks are knit cuff down and they come in two sizes. And like I had mentioned with the Lique pullover, sorry, Northland is such a reputable designer. I think that we can trust that her patterns are going to give you all the information that you need. So I think that these scrapbook socks would be a really fun knit. I even think that they would make a really great gift knit for anyone in your life because I don't know, they just look really special, but if that stitch pattern is the same as it is in the Lique pullover, I promise you it's very, very simple. So those are the scrapbook socks by Sorry Nordland, and it looks like on Ravelry, that pattern is gonna run you about $5.40. The next pattern that I wanted to show you is by a designer that I'm always really intrigued by their designs. It's Aegyo, Aegyo Knits. This is, this is an interesting one for me. So I came across Egg Knits and there's basically like a little series of patterns within their designs that include this same chevron stripey detail. This is called the pronunciation check, how to pronounce Geo. 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 Okay, this looks like the Geo cowl by Eggio Knits. This looks like one of those infinity cowls. I think it said on Ravelry that you knit it, sew it, twist it, one of those deals. But this looks like just the perfect cozy and classic timeless cowl to put with your wool coat or something like that. I really like that in this pattern, the chevron or zigzag is very subtle. It's this, and and with this whole series by Egg Units, which I'm going to move into next with a little bit of caution. <laughs> so this cowl has this chevron. It, it almost looks more like a herringbone. I'm, all of these things could be used interchangeably. Everyone's going to call it something different. This one has more subtle slim lines. So it's not as bold or as striking as some of the other zigzag and chevron patterns we've been seeing. So I think that if you're particularly wary of something so graphic, that this would be a really, really perfect way to just slip this into your wardrobe, especially if you have low contrast in the sample photo. It's knit in this sort of uh, like a denim blue and a cream it looks like, but I think that if you wanted even lower contrast, you could go with um, like a like a cream and just a beige. If you want super classic, of course, there's always your black and white options. If you want a darker but lower contrast, you could always use a black and a charcoal for those contrasts. I think that this one is another great gift in it because it does have this timeless look about it. I think anyone could make this work in their wardrobe and being that it's one of those cowls that, I struggle with a cowl. The ones that are just a tube that slide over your head, I don't love because I feel like I miss the chest warmth. I think that you get that neck warmth and if you want to slip it up over your face on a really cold day, then that's a great option. But I'm always looking for something that in my coat, I could just bury inside my coat and keep my chest warm. So I tend to prefer a cowl more like this one. And I, if I find some time this season, I might wind up knitting this because I just really like how classic it looks. And I could picture this being really versatile and in my winter styling. So that is the Jill Cowl by Eggio Knits. And it looks like on Ravelry, it's gonna run you about $6.41. So while we're on the topic of Eggio Knits and this Jill pattern, 
I mentioned that it looks like there's a bit of a series going on within Eggio Knits that features this zigzaggy, chevrony, herring bony <laughs> pattern. And let's move first into the Geal sweater by Eggio Knits. Now, I also said I was gonna move into these with caution. These are actually some patterns that I've had saved in my favorites way longer than I, I realized. The Geal sweater was released in March of 2023, and I think it's been on my radar since then. What I just learned by doing some research into this video is that this sweater, as well as the other one by Agio Knits that I'm going to mention, have an extremely limited size range. I think that when designers do this. The idea is that these sweaters are meant to be worn with loads of positive ease and so they feel like they can get away with not having such a variety of sizes. But the reality is if you want me to have 20 inches of positive ease in my sweater, then you're going to have to make a size that's 20 inches bigger than me. And so just because this sweater will fit me, doesn't mean it's gonna fit me with the same look that the model's getting in the photos. So I do find these ones to be a little bit problematic, but I have been intrigued by them for a long time and I love the look of them. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to let you know that if these work for your size range and you want to knit them, I think that that's okay. And I wasn't gonna just dismiss them because I think it's also important to mention them in this in this way of, of discussing the fact that they are problematic for their size ranges. But yeah, I, I didn't wanna just not talk about them because I don't think that that would be moving the needle, and <laughs> moving the needle. <laughs> I love a pun, I love a pun. I don't think that not discussing them would move the needle anywhere closer to having broad size ranges from all designers. Everyone knows that this has been an issue, we're getting better, and I'm not gonna be someone who's gonna harp on it. I'm only disappointed because Eggio Knits appears to be someone who's gaining more popularity, and I think that maybe we should let them know that we like their designs and we want to wear them no matter what size we are. So I'm just laying that out there. Let's run through this pattern real quick. So the Geal sweater by Eggio Knits was released in March of this year. I like this sweater because it features the chevron detail on the lower half of the sweater while having a very stark blank slate on the top half. This sweater is knit top down. It features a drop shoulder. Your typical drop shoulder construction where things are knit flat and then joined under the arm to knit in the round. I really like the cozy neckline on this one. I think that you could have some fun with the colors or again, keep this really simple depending on what your style is. This pattern is only available in two sizes and wait till you hear this finished bust circumference range. Your options are 58 or 60 inches. <laughs> it's like so random. So that's 148 and 152 centimeters. For a lot of people that's gonna be massive and for a lot of people that's gonna fit them just right. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's a weird one, it's upsetting, it's disappointing, but like I said, let's talk about it rather than just slide it under the rug and hopefully we could do something to change that. Who knows, we're, we're throwing, we're leaving it up to the designers now. <laughs> but that pattern is gonna run you $7.11. In the same vein with Eggio Knits and this chevroni pattern, it looks like that same pattern was just now put all over a sweater in the Oba sweater. So I'm seeing that same chevron detail. This is one that has been out since January of this year and I know that this has been in my favorites since then. I have loved this sweater. This is one of those sweaters that made me want to start knitting. So again, it was pretty disappointing to see that this one only comes in three sizes with that finished bust circumference ranging from 45 to 51 inches, which is equivalent to about 114 to 130 centimeters. 
I'm not gonna go into detail. We know what that means, three sizes. It's a little bit rough. Pushing past that, this is a raglan style knit. I like the stark contrast from the collar into the rest of the sweater. I think, again, I'm just coming back to this. Looks so cozy. I wanna wear this with jeans. I wanna wear this with trousers. I wanna wear this with leggings and Uggs. I just wish it came in more sizes. So $7.11, that's Eggio Knits. Let's try and, and push this problem forward in a positive way. There's a, there's a way to go about this and there's a way to not go about this. So we're talking about the patterns because we like them and we just want them available in more sizes. So hopefully the more we talk about it, the more designers will realize that. Okay, if things changed a little bit, it's because my camera died and I had to go charge it really quick. So the next pattern that I want to talk about is this I, the Aloco. <laughs> the Aloco by Tina Hutanimi. That's my best guess. I'm reading it off of my iPad here. But this pattern was released in August of this year. So another one, it was just released, guys. I mean, I why is no one talking about this? It's all over the place. <laughs> um, but this is a top-down sweater. It's available on Ravelry in eight sizes. And that is with a finished bust circumference of 36 and a half to 70 inches or... 91 and a half to 175 centimeters. This is another one that has, rather than big chunky stripes, more of a thin line. So I think, again, if you're not someone who's super into a bold or geometric look, that this is a little bit more of an approachable way to get your, get your hands on this trend. It does say on Ravelry that this pattern is charted. So if you've never done charts before, again, something spooky, try it out. It's most of us as creators tend to be visual learners. That's obviously not the same for everybody, but the chart is something that you just have to learn how to read. And once you do it, you've unlocked a whole new option of a whole new library of patterns. And I think you'd be surprised by once you figure out just how you read the pattern or how you read the chart, which there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do that. And it's simple. I think once you figured it out, you're going to find that the chart makes things really handy for on the go knitting and not having to keep your nose down in a pattern the whole time. So I definitely would encourage you to try a charted pattern if you haven't yet. So this seems like a great one to give a shot. Again, we're seeing that super cozy neckline with that ribbed collar. It looks pretty oversized with that nice chunky ribbed hem. And just again, I, I'm seeing this such a cozy, cozy knit for the fall and winter. This is another one where you see the sample with a ton of different colors, but I think if you wanted to, you could just pare this down into a way more low contrast look. And I think with that, it would fit into literally any body wardrobe. I could picture this one as a nice sort of darker gray um, main color with just black chevron stripes across. I think that would make for a really simple and sleek go-to for literally the rest of your life. This pattern is on Ravelry for $9.80. I feel like we can't go through this video without mentioning the new pattern from Hohi Locatelli, which is her Instant Crush sweater. This pattern came out in August of 2023. I was first introduced to it by watching The Grocery Girls and Tracy, I think, was doing the test knit for it. This sweater is just really, really fascinating. There's a ton of color work in it. To be honest, it, it, Depending on the colors, it can give off sort of like Easter egg vibes, but if you push past that and play around with your color options, the sample is knit in two strands of mohair, but you don't have to knit it that way. You can, you know, swap that out for a fingering weight yarn instead. But I do like the idea of this being in a mohair, especially for the holidays coming up. Mohair, I feel like, gives a really classy and 
sort of elevated, more elegant look to a sweater, but also it makes it really cozy and lightweight while still keeping you warm. So this one's interesting because it has an array of color work. However, you do still see the chevron stripes coming across the bust. This pattern on Ravelry says that it's a seamless top-down knit. It's another one that's charted and it's color work. This pattern is available in 10 sizes. 10 sizes. Thank you, Hoggy. <laughs> So that's going to be 10 sizes with your finished bust circumference ranging from 30 and a half inches to about 64 inches, which is equivalent to about 76 to 160 centimeters. And I just think that this is another one that you could really, I mean, if you knit this one with less positive ease, then it would be a great option for the office or for the holidays, like I had said. If you use a lot of bright colors, it would be a really fun way to bust some stash. If you want to knit this in a more oversized way, I think that that would be a great option to have a super, super, super cozy knit for the winter. And I also think that it's one if you wanted to just use really low contrast colors or not even low contrast, but just stick to a neutral family. There's so many colors that are involved with this one. And it would be really beautiful if you did this one with some tans and taupes and beige and brown and a cream and sort of did all of that together for still contrast, but just not so much color then it would make it incredibly versatile in your wardrobe. You could dress that up or dress it down. I love this pattern. So that is the Instant Crush by Hohi Locatelli, and it looks like it's available on Ravelry for about $8. Now, as I was putting together this little bundle, which this will be available on a Ravelry bundle. I'll do my best to remember to add in those patterns that aren't available just yet into my Chevron bundle on Ravelry so that everything's really easy for you to find. Um, but as I was looking through some of these patterns, I came across a few and I kept noticing it was the same designer when I realized that this designer actually has a newer book that's available with several chevron patterns inside of it. So the designer that I'm talking about is Lada H. Lothgren. Doing my best with names. <laughs> and the book is called Observations, Knits and Essays from the Forest. It looks like there's a bunch of patterns available in this book, but the ones that contain the different styles of chevron are the badger sweater, the bat shawl, so another shawl, and this one's actually more of a streamlined traditional shawl if you're not into swaddling yourself up. <laughs> and then you've got the dawn top, which was the first one that caught my eye and a shorter sleeve, though I'm sure that you could just knit that in a longer sleeve, and the dragonfly sweater. So I think that if you're someone who is really loving this look and you want so many options on how to knit these different patterns with this geometric look, I think it's really timeless. I have a lot of chevron in my home, in my like rug in my bathroom, in the towel in the kitchen. I don't know why I'm gravitated to it, but I, I just like this geometric look. So if you're someone who really likes that look, as well as um, some other really interesting geometric patterns, I think that this book would be a great option for you to check out. And I'll have that link down below for you as well. So that's the last recommendation that I have for you for patterns. And just the final point that I wanted to make is when it comes to trends, there's so many things that are being spit out at us every day. I mean, we've gone from being told we have to wear skinny jeans to it's wide legs. It's low rise jeans to high rise jeans. It's oversized to skin tight and everything in between. And when it comes to following the trends, it's not a necessity. However, if you're someone who likes to update their wardrobe and if you are someone who enjoys making your own clothes but 
staying within the realms of the fashion industry rules and things that are going on right now, then I I think that it is fun to sort of find ways that you can incorporate these trends into your making. And the particularly interesting thing about this trend, this Chevron thing that we're, we're seeing everywhere, is the way that I've mentioned in so many of these that you can make them work for you no matter what your style is. You don't necessarily need to be a loud and vibrant person and someone who loves to wear six different colored chevron stripes across your chest to get in on the chevron trend. I think that this is one of those things that looks really beautiful in high or low contrast in bright saturated colors or really no saturation at all all. I think that if you go with two colors in these chevrons, it's going to give you a way more classic and timeless look. Whereas if you wanted to just completely explode color, it's going to be something more fun and bold and exciting. And I think that if you like the idea of these chevron shapes, then you should find a pattern from here that works for you and find a way to work it into your wardrobe. It's a really fun and satisfying pattern to knit from what I've been doing with my Leake pullover. And so I think that it would be a great way if you haven't done any sort of textured knitting to get into that following the Sari Nordland patterns. Or if you want to learn how to do some chart work or color work, um, I think that this is a fun way to do it because it's in that really graphic way of color changing. So I let me know what you guys think. Have you been seeing this everywhere? Am I alone? Am I like, I figured it out, guys. I found the trend that no one else is talking about, but I've absolutely lost my mind. I've just been seeing it everywhere and to the point where I literally couldn't not talk about it. So I had to come on here today and just let you know some of the things that I've been seeing. If I see any more chevron or zigzaggy, stripey patterns coming out, I'll try to add those to the bundle too. So definitely make sure that if you, you know, wanted to look more into this, that you check out that bundle and I'll do my best to keep it updated. And you could let me know if I missed any patterns. I'm sure that I have, but these were all just from within the last few months. I mean, it's really crazy that I've just been seeing this all over the place and why the heck is no one talking about it? So if you're going to get in on the Chevron knitting trend train, let me know. Let me know which pattern you would do it in. Let me know what kind of colors you would use. And yeah, if there's any other trends or pattern roundups that you're looking for in particular, do let me know down in the comments. I'm hoping to get more of these out into the world and I already have some that I'm planning to do, but the more the merrier. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am Nora, <laughs> also known as Nora Knits. And like I said, if you want to try something new this spooky season, you can use the hashtag spooky stitches 2023 over on Instagram and tag me to let me know what fears you're facing this October. Other than that, guys, this was it. I hope you enjoyed this a little change up from my usual, but I had some fun deep diving into this trend. We're like trend investigators over here. <laughs> so let me know if you want me to do this again. Until then, Saturday mornings at 9.30 a.m. I have my podcasts for you and we'll see how I can trickle in some more of these videos along the way. Big ol' thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye!